Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and prime the pumps on this Hamilton Beach Flex Brew Universal Coffee Maker, model number 49930. So I've just unboxed it, and before we brew any coffee, we're going to prime it and set it up. So the very first thing you're going to do is, before you even plug it in or anything, remove this water reservoir. It says there's a red plug on the bottom of this reservoir. And right there. There's what the plug looks like and it's stuck in there, but it possibly could be stuck in there. So remove this red plug, first thing. Okay, so we're gonna lift this lever by, by there's a little latch underneath there. See that latch, we gotta lift that. We're gonna wash this with some soapy water and rinse it out. And same thing with this water reservoir. We're gonna take it off, we're gonna take it to the sink. Now be careful, it is kind of thin plastic. Rinse it out with some soap and water and then fill it up with just fresh water. Okay, so put the K-cup adapter back in. Make sure there's no K-cup. We're gonna push this down and latch it. Now it's okay to plug it in. I've got the water reservoir installed with some water. Okay, there is a power switch right here. So down is off, up is on. And, and now the lights are lit up. Okay, so the, the, the lights are kind of, of going on and off, on and off. It says the lights will pulse while preheating. Okay, so they stopped pulsing. Let's just press the 10 ounce button and make sure you got something down here to catch. That's gonna be really hot water coming out. Okay, so it sounds like a pump is running. These lights are flashing. So the pump is not primed yet. Let's see if we can press the button again. Press the 10 ounce button again. I had to press it twice there. Now it sounds like the pump is prime. Nope, now we got like a loud noise again. The water is going down in the back. Looks like we got to do it again. So press the 10, press it again. Nope, doesn't sound like it. Okay, so still nothing came out. Let's turn the unit off, back on again. Let's press the 10. I can hear a pump trying to run and it sounds like it's trying to take some water, but then it doesn't. Okay, so let's try the Nespresso side. Lift the handle. We're not gonna put anything in there, just close it again. Press that button. Okay, still nothing. It's just not taking water in. The water's not going down in the back. It's kind of staying on that right there. It's kind of staying, it's not going down. Okay, so it's acting like there's not any water going in. I've got the red plug removed. Let's take the water reservoir on and off a few times. I did get a couple air bubbles, let's do that. Sometimes that helps prime the pump. Just take it on and off. That should force some water down in there. Now let's go back to the cake up side. Just press the 10 button. Nope. Let's try on the espresso side. Nope, that pump's just not priming. poke there so let's just take the reservoir on and off a few times seat it all the way let's press the Nespresso button again I can hear the pump running but it's just not taking any water down the water's not moving down Okay, so it is still not, I took the water out. It's still not priming. I've, I've got the red plug out and I'm pushing up on this. Maybe there was something holding the water. I'm gonna fill the water reservoir up again and try it. Okay, so the lights, I got the water reservoir back on. I gotta turn it off, back on. Press the eight. Well, they're, they're, I gotta wait for it to warm up. 
once they stop uh, pulsing and, and they're on steady, then I can press it. No, nope, that pump is not taken. Okay, so it finally did it. This took a while. Um, I kept pressing that button probably 20 times and it wouldn't prime. I'm gonna show you what I did to finally get it to prime. Now it's kind of loud once it finally primes, but there, I do have water coming out on this side. This is the hardest one I've ever had to prime. It did not want to prime at all. Okay. Okay, here's what I did to get it to finally prime. Again, I tried, I went alternated back and forth. There's no pods in either one of these. I went, you know, just kept hitting the buttons and nothing. That water would not budge. So what I finally ended up doing is unplugging it. I took the water reservoir off. I I turned the unit upside down. So take the drip trays away, leave these closed. I turned it upside down and kind of shook it a little bit. Maybe there was an air pocket in there or something. It makes a mess. Uh, then I turned it right side up. I put the water reservoir on it again, and then it worked. And again, I, so let's try the cake up side. This should have been a lot easier. Okay, so now it's primed. I'm gonna do this a couple more times just to make sure it's good and primed. So when that pumps is running, it is kind of loud. So I went back and forth three times. I did some out of this. I primed some out of this. I just want to make sure this thing is good and primed. Normally you would prime this side and this side and it'd be done. But since we had, I had such, you may not have the problems I had, but since I had such problems, I'm doing it a bunch. Now it is kind of loud. Okay, so it's primed. I'm gonna, my next video is going to be, I'm gonna brew some coffee and espresso with it. Thanks everybody for watching.